How do y'all feel about this triple decker yacht of sushi? It's an absolute spectacle, and to be honest, it fits with where we're eating. When you come to Yamashiro, tucked in the Hollywood Hills, you're stepping into an opulent Japanese palace with over a hundred years of history. The top names in LA have been dining here for generations, and the restaurant's dazzling sushi display matches the clientele. I look at this as my home because if you look at Yamashiro, it's like a house. So I want everyone to feel welcome and feel comfortable coming here. Managing this fleet of sushi yachts is Yamashiro's executive chef, Valerie Castillo Archer. She made history in 2021 when she was tapped as the first ever female executive chef for this historic restaurant. It was kind of intimidating. You know, there were times when I got bullied or didn't think that I was good enough. But I look at it as why not? I can cook in the kitchen at home, so why can't I leave this iconic restaurant? No one can stop me but me. It all started when I first met Chef Val at Yamashiro while having dinner there. She said that she's been wanting to feed the Food Beast crew for a while now and would serve up something special for us the next time we're there for dinner. Well, some of the crew pulled up and out came this gargantuan vessel with sparklers blazing filled with a literal boatload of hand rolls, sashimi, nigiri, and cut rolls. While we were all super impressed with the feast we had that night, Chef Val promised something even bigger for us the next time we come through the Yamashiro. You and I had the conversation like, you know, what about if you do a double decker? And I was like, no, let's do a triple decker. The whole fleet of sushi boats were all custom made for the restaurant. There are 20 to 30 small boats, 20 large ones, 10 yachts, and of course, one triple decker, which feeds about 30 people and features over 10 different sushi rolls that can be specially made to order. We have been so busy making boats that our sushi now takes about an hour to two hour wait. And you saw all the boats back there. Sometimes you don't have enough. To accommodate the sushi fleet feeding diners for a night, it takes about 50 pounds of sashimi and 200 pounds of rice. On a Saturday night, just to get me through Saturday, this is really high volume, I need 14 of these. Doesn't stop here. Sushi chef Chris Espinosa makes sure that he serves up a surprise with each sushi boat sent out. For the triple decker, that's like the champion of us right now, so it has to be worth its buck, you know? Yeah. And good thing he was here today because he taught us how to properly roll some sushi. You want to battle? Yeah, battle. All right, let's battle. All right. Eli wanted to battle, so I said bet. Let the best struggle sushi chef win. I tap it. So the water runs down the blade, so when I'm using the whole knife, the rice doesn't stick. My boy over here is next. So, All right. All right. Okay. Let's try it. He's doing great. A smooth operator with a spicy tuna. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> Delicious. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> This triple decker marvel of the SS Yamashiro took Chef Chris a little over an hour to put together all by himself. Guests can order this feast for about $2,000 and it's bon voyage to all their sushi dreams fulfilled. I wanted to be able to celebrate who I am, not just a woman, but to be a Filipina, to be an Asian immigrant, and I feel the love and the respect from everyone. The Filipino community has definitely shown up for Chef Val, with big names like Manny Pacquiao and Bella Porch stopping by the restaurant. Through Yamashiro, Chef Val is also casting a massive spotlight on Filipino cuisine. She's incorporating Filipino flavors through dishes like this impressive and massive tomahawk adobo pork chop. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's a little tender, right? This is so tender. It's insane. Look at this. Just a little bite. Right off. This is my favorite. When I walk out these doors, you hear Tagalog, you hear Ilocano, it makes me feel so proud that my Tagalogians, my friends and family, they totally support you. With Chef Val at the helm, Yamashiro's light is shining brighter than ever. Come through for an unforgettable and historic meal and let them know who be sent you. Mm.